I'm Hayden Keyes, naturopath, healthy eating and healthy lifestyle advocate. Today in this episode of Eat This Not That, we're going to be talking about sweeteners. The good, the bad and the ugly. So first of all we'll start with the bad. So here we have white sugar, raw sugar, brown sugar, low GI sugar, maple syrup and regular honey. So what's bad about these things? Because we hear so much about how sugar isn't good for you, but what's the reason behind that? So with all these four sugars here, the issue is that they've been refined. And during that process, in order to make a nice consistent product, the manufacturers take out all the good things from the sugar cane, like the vitamins, the minerals, um, antioxidants, anything that's in there is taken out. And all that's left is sucrose, a bit of fructose, and other simple sugars. So the reason why these are bad for you is that when your body uses them to make energy, it requires certain vitamins and minerals to turn that sugar into energy. Now, because these have been refined, they no longer contain those vitamins and minerals, so your body has to use its reserves, and so you start to deplete yourself. Now, when we come to the good sugars, here we have an organic evaporated cane juice, so it's just the cane juice that's been evaporated, not processed. Here we have agave nectar. This comes from the agave plant, which is sort of like an aloe vera plant. And what they do is they cut the flower out and then the, the sap or the juice comes out and they collect it, they reduce it down, and that has a sweet flavor. But it's totally unprocessed, it's natural. It still has certain soluble fibers in there, so the GI is very, very low, and you don't overdo it with the sweetness. Here we have coconut nectar, and where this is taken from is the coconut palm. As it flowers, the flower, the flower is chopped out, and then as the sap oozes out, it's collected, and then it's reduced down into a syrup or nectar. Again, it contains vitamins and minerals because it hasn't been refined. Now, while we have good sweeteners and bad sweeteners, one thing to always remember is that they are sweeteners, they are sugar, even the good ones. So you never want to eat too much, but sometimes we do need to use something that has a sugary taste, and so this is where we're using these products here. Personally, I use the agave syrup and the coconut nectar. I just find them not as sweet, and, but they do give the sweetness that I'm looking for when I'm making something that actually requires a little bit of sweetness. Now over here, this is a new one, this low GI sugar. It's promoted as being, I guess, better for you because it's got a low GI, but it's still a refined product. All they've done is add some molasses back to it, and that's reduced the GI down, but it still has exactly the same amount of sugar in it. And it's not, that it doesn't contain the vitamins and the minerals that these do. The next sort of sweeteners we have are the good old maple syrup. So over here we've got pure organic maple syrup, and over here we've got maple flavored syrup. So this is just a sugar syrup with a maple flavoring. Totally bad. Maple syrup is just tapped straight from the tree. It's the sap of the maple tree. And so it has a sweet flavour, sort of like the agave syrup and the coconut nectar, but a slightly sort of smokier flavour, so it doesn't always work well where you want a sugary taste, but it's good for gluten-free pancakes and those sorts of things. And lastly, we have honey. So over here we've got regular honey, which we're all aware of. And as I spoke about in another episode, you'll notice honey these days never crystallises. That's because it's been heat-treated. And, and refined, and that stops it crystallizing to give it better shelf life. But it destroys all the little important antibiotic, antibacterial properties of honey. Over here we have a raw honey, and what I mean by raw is that the honey is just extracted straight out of the comb, it's not heated, nothing's done to it. The only downside is, and we can see with this one, which we had at home, is that it started to crystallize. The honey is still the same, but it's got little crystals in it. Obviously, manufacturers don't like that because they think consumers don't like that sort of thing because it gives a little bit of a, a grainy texture. Now, that's crystallised because while we have honey at home, we don't actually use much of it. So, I do use sweet things occasionally, but not all the time, only where I really need to. So, hopefully that enlightens you a little bit about sweeteners and you can make a much better choice. You know how we choose which ones we're going to, and now you can too. Thank you.